They may have differing political views, but five former Victoria mayors can agree on at least one thing. They do not like the plan for a marina development in the city's inner harbor. The five mayors have lined up behind incumbent Dean Fortin in his campaign to block the so-called mega yacht marina. In a letter to the city and to the province, the mayors, who helped to shape the community over the past 30 years, say they never envisioned anything of this scale along the Songhees waterfront. But have they come forward too late? A news reporter Astrid Branschman joins us live with more. Astrid. Well, Hudson, the federal government may have granted final approval for the proposed mega yacht marina, but the former mayors who signed this letter, they insist that it is not too late to sink the deal. Victoria's five previous mayors are muddying the waters around the proposed mega yacht development. Peter Pollan is among the group which has put politics aside to back the current mayor, Dean Fortin, as he fights to prevent a mega yacht marina from being developed in the inner harbor. But the five mayors have got together and said, hey, this, this, is, this is nonsense. We can't allow this to happen. In a letter, the mayors state unequivocally that such a large marina was never part of our city council's plan. The letter was sent to Fortin and to Forest Minister Pat Bell, who will decide whether to grant a lease for a water lot in the harbor. I certainly echo all of those past five mayors in their assessment that the current marina, as proposed, is, is, is beyond the scope and scale of anything ever envisioned. It's the latest wave of opposition in the ongoing battle over whether the proposed marina should be built on the Songhees waterfront. Despite consistent public outcry over the scope of the project, the development team says the views of previous mayors don't represent today's community. There was a, a, a random survey of Victorians done last year and the result of that survey uh, indicated that 54 percent of Victorians were in favor of the project. Um, that's far more representative. Environmental approval has already been given for the project. The developer says that effectively gives the marina the go-ahead from the federal government. But if you talk to Peter Pollan, the former mayor of Victoria, he says it's not too late to block progress. That uh, people should come out and say, hey, enough's enough. It's now up to the city and the province to work out the details if the marina project approved in the 80s is to move forward. You know, I would hope that the government listens to the local mayors on this. Minister Bell says the former mayors can weigh in, but it's the current mayor and council he'll work with. Well, this is a challenging decision, and there are varying views on it. Uh, I'm confident that working together, we'll be able to find a solution that makes sense. Pollan says the only thing that makes sense is to leave the waterfront as is. What am I doing this for? I'm not running for any election. I'm retired. My only uh, ambition is to... Uh, keep this magnificent and open space like this. And it's all for the people and the future generations. Now, besides Peter Pollan, former mayors Gretchen Bruin, David Turner, Bob Cross, and Alan Lowe signed the letter. They add in the letter that they believe decisions about the marina development have been made without proper public consultation. Hudson? All right, Astrid Branchman reporting. Astrid, thank you. You're welcome.